I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into my bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. I begin tucking him into bed and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look underneath for his amusement and see him, another him, under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's somebody on my bed. You get home, tired, after a long day's work, and ready for a relaxing night alone. You reach for the light switch, but another hand is already there. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear, and it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open, and the bed was empty. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. There was a picture in my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. I woke up to hear a knocking on the glass. At first I thought it was the window, until I heard it come from the mirror. Again. The last thing I saw was my alarm clock flashing 12.07 before she pushed her long, rotting nails on my chest. Her other hand muffling my screams. I sat bolt upright and believed it was only a dream. But as I saw my alarm clock read 12.06, I heard my closet door creak open. Growing up with cats and dogs, I got used to the sound of scratching at my door while I slept. Now that I live alone, it is much more unsettling. In all of the time that I've lived alone in this house, I swear to God, I've closed more doors than I've opened. A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs, so she got up and started to head down. As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard that too. She asked why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in the house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. I woke to the sound of, of, of the baby monitor crackling with her voice, comforting my firstborn child as I adjusted to a new position. My arm brushed against my wife, sleeping next to me. I always thought my cat had a staring bone. She always seemed fixated on my face, until one day I realized she was looking just behind me. There's nothing like the laughter of a baby, unless it's at 1 a.m. and you're home alone. What up guys, this is Graveyard Golgotha and welcome to my channel. I would personally like to thank Shinigami Asashin for collaborating with me in this video. If you haven't already, go check out his channel and subscribe to him. I'm sure he would really appreciate it. But first, hit that like and subscribe button and join the underground today. And I'll see you guys in the next one.